Good morning, everyone. My name is Sarah Carlisle. I have a shop full of Heise glassware, and today's segment is called Heise Half Price Thursday. What I do is I take items from the shop and things that we find in the past week, put it on the table, and sell it for one half of the price that's on the tag. If you see anything you're interested in, I can combine multiple weeks of items into one box and then ship it out once it's finally full. So if you're ready, I'm going to give you my email address. It is S A J A C A R L 26 at gmail.com. You can email me and I will respond with my phone number if you'd like it. So if you're ready, let's get started. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Half Price Thursday. I'm gonna get started with two plugs for two shows coming up. The first one's Fostoria. It's June 7th, 8th, and 9th. It is Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then the next show is Cambridge. It's June 28th through the 29th. It's Friday the, at 1 to 5 and Saturday, 10.30 to 4 p.m. There's also the Glass Dash on the 29th. 7 to 8.30 a.m. and then 8.30 to 11 a.m. I'm going to give you a quick preview of what's available today. There's some few nice pieces on the table today. Like always, if you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email me or my dad. So if you're ready, we're gonna get started here in the corner. The first thing today is a mushroom and cover. This is, I believe, the smaller one. It's a four inches across maybe a little bit over four and a half or four inches and for this it is a hundred and twenty five dollars okay we have a fancy loop this is a hotel creamer couldn't find any damage at all at the pattern has pretty good gold on, on the bottom it has a little bitty nick on the base of the bottom right there and the price of this one is twenty dollars half price thursday so when we quote your price like that's twenty dollars you're actually going to get it for ten here we have, oh, go ahead. Peacock etched wine, and it is $40. And this is the Bob White stem. They put this on two different stem lines. Old Glory and Bob White. Narrow flute with grim, French dressing, and it is in good shape, and it's $20, marked on the center of the bottom. Crystal White cigarette box. This is the smaller one. It does have an itty, it has a flake right there on the bottom of it. Lid's in good shape. It's eight dollars. We have two of these punch cups. They're number three thirty-nine. Con this, continental. 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 They're both marked, but this one has been grounded down, as you can tell, tell on the bottom. And both of them are eight dollars. And and that's not repair on there. That's when they grind them at the factory, put a bottom edge on them. Someone held it down a little bit too long. Probably a little bit drunk that day. Here we have a handled bonbon. Let's see the handle on that, sir. Really unusual piece. Uh, found this in the Bretterhof book. And what was the number on it? You remember? 1633 bonbon. Bonbon. Looks like a handled jelly, but unusual piece for Heisey. What would I say the price? $50. $50. Here we have a Coalport ashtray. And it's $25. Plain band. Looks like it's going to be a toothpick but, or a sugar bowl without a lid on it. This is actually a, a sherbet and it's from has a Lenox, Iowa uh, souvenir on it. Marked in the center of the bottom with the diamond H, $30. Plantation divided mayo with Ivy Etch, $35. Old Williamsburg wine. How many of these, sir? Four. Four available. Each one is marked with the diamond H. It's fifteen dollars a piece. Amber. Terrain. Terrain. Soda. This soda is a little five and a quarter inches tall. It does have mold on the bottom of it. Looks like damage, but it's just mold marked on the bottom, and it's forty-five dollars. In charter, this is like uh, a Jamestown stem, but if you notice the bowl flares out on it quite a bit, and it does have this narrow optic in the bowl. 
unusual piece. And we looked at the top on this, and we both agree. We do think the top of this has been touched a little bit. Maybe had a nick at one time. Or at least I agree with that. Do you agree with that, Sarah? No. She doesn't agree. Well, anyway. Anyway, I think it's been repaired. She doesn't think it has been repaired. But anyway, it is what it is, and it's $30. One available. Another piece of plantation. It's the candy. Good condition. $55. Waverly mayonnaise set. You have the bowl, original spoon, and the underplate. The underplate has a ring on it. it. Has a ring. It raises up to keep that plate in place. All in good shape, and it's forty-five dollars. Plantation cruet, clean on the inside. Good stopper. Forty-five dollars. Marked right here by the handle. Here's a cabochon cruet, also clean on the inside, good stopper, south wind cutting on it, and it's $45. I believe this is a white flat panel, creamer and sugar, marked right above Sarah's left thumb there in that constriction. So here is a hard color to find in these, $65 for the pair. Handles in very good shape. Mm, narrow flute, relish. Or pickle looks like about eight and a half inches and it's five dollars pair of ridgely salt and pepper shakers yeah they have these they call them cones sometime and but these they call the ball shakers 35 dollars for the pair pineapple and fan tumbler and the gold on this is just about as good as you get we couldn't find any damage on this at all very nice tumbler excellent color 65 dollars Ring neck pheasant, glows underneath the black light. Didn't find any damage on it, $45. And we have two of those available. So if you want a pair, we can sell you a pair. Queen Anne, two handle. I believe this is called a cake plate. Has a little bit of wear right there in the middle of the bottom of it, and it's $35. Orchid etch. Oval. Drop your yardstick, did you? Oh, they only made these in one size, looks about 10 and a half inches tall. They're marked underneath the socket, both of them. And the, for the pair, it's 175. And the gold's in decent shape. Cornanor floral bowl. They made these cornanor floral bowls in two sizes. This is the taller of the two sizes, and it's the widest of the two sizes. It is marked in the middle of the bottom, and it actually goes with those cornor candles or sell them separately. Candle holders are fairly easy to find. The bowl is not easy to find. The bowl is marked. It's $125 for the bowl. How much are the candle holders, Sarah? $75. $75 for the candle holders. We have three toothpicks. First is the K-Lonial one. It does have a bruise right there on the bottom. It's $125. Here's a plain band toothpick. Nothing wrong with it. $35. And here's a sunburst with gold toothpick. $65. Have a couple of plates. First, we have a Yeoman Diamond Optic. Has some wear in it. Not too much. It's a 7-inch plate. And it's five dollars. Here's something we haven't seen before. Here's a yeoman plate. How much was uh, how big was that, Sarah? Seven, Seven and a half inches, and it's actually in amber. Has quite a bit of wear on it, but we haven't seen that in amber. Very few pieces of yeoman you find in amber. It's twelve dollars and a half. Here's a couple of these. I don't know what they are. They're marked with the diamond H. Uh, they may be liners, and they may be at one time. Uh, someone put paper labels under these, said Heisey on them. So anyway, we have two of them here. One of them's an original paper, one isn't. How much is a pair of them, Sarah? $10. $10 for a pair, and we have several of those available. Here's a Flamingo Revere Salt Cellar, $15. And a Sahara Diamond Ashtray, marked in the center, $65. Empress Pattern. Two old sandwich butter pats. Both of them are going to go together. And it's $6 for the pair. Putney Band Nappy with Ruby Flash around the rim. It does have a couple teeth missing. 
but it's only one dollar. And Heise actually advertised this as a pearl edge. Those little balls on the edge were supposed to look like pearls, so they advertised it as pearl edge. I want to say panel cane, but it's not called panel cane. I believe this is just a called a a cane pitcher. It's a souvenir of Sealy, Texas. A beautiful decoration on it. These were normally uh, sold at state fairs and everything. as souvenirs for coming. And it's a hard to find piece marked in the center of the bottom at $65. And that's called custard glass. This piece actually did have uranium in it. Where the other pieces of glass that flow in the black light, they don't have uranium in them. They've got, uh, what's that, manganese in them. Next, we have two narrow flute three ounce cocktails. They are both $6. They each have an itty bitty flake on the rim or on the on stem. The stem. Mm -hmm. And both of them are $6, correct? Correct. They have a swirl. I believe this is going to be a 10 and a half inch dinner plate. So we'll measure it for us. What is it? About 10 and three quarters. About 10 and three quarters. It is in Hawthorne, real good shape. $65. Only one of these available. It's two usages. It's in the book as a number four violet vase. Uh, number four dash 300. 300 or a parfait. And peerless. And peerless. It's peerless. Either way, it's a peerless piece, but had two functions according to who they were selling their glass to. Marked on the bottom and it's $15, one available. Oh, Williamsburg, have a couple of pictures. One in Sarah's hand, left hand is the smallest size pitcher, and it is $75. Is that correct, Sarah? Yep, good condition. And then this other pitcher is a bigger size pitcher. Why don't you measure the ring on the bottom? Because the, the way you tell these apart, if you're buying all the sizes, you measure the ring. And that one is, what, three and a quarter? Mm -hmm. And this one has roughness on most of the panels going around the outside of it, just finger roughness on there, and it's $10. I think there's about four or five different sizes of those. Ridgely vase, you might want to measure it. Good condition, and it's $25. Measures just a little bit less than six inches tall. Beaded panel and sunburst spooner. Spooner. It does have a crack in it, but if you would like an example, it's $2. Yeah, show them that crack. Just put the inside. Thanks. See that crack going through there? Crack going all the way through it. Hey, it's going to be one buck after the discount. You put pencils in it. Warwick, Horn of Plenty. These are called nine inches vases, even though they're a little bit less than nine inches tall. It has one little chip on one side and there's one, a chip on the other side of it. Price on it, Sarah? $15. $15. Next, we have three stems and orchid etch. We have 12 available of each. The first one is a Sherbert. It is $4 each, so that's $2 after the discount. Here's a wine, $30 each, and then a cocktail. $15 each. And, and just because we say there's 12, you don't have to take all 12 of them. If you just want one, that's fine. You take any number you want. Waverly, three-part relish, orchid etch, $20. Good condition. Marked in the center of the bottom. Dolphin-footed mint dish with orchid etch, $15. On the, on the uh, Queen Anne blank. Fancy loop, and it's a little rectangular tray. It does have some damage, some chips on it here and there on it. Anyway, it's only $5. Last piece, we have, we're gonna call it Waverly. However, if you look closely, it does have fern handles on it. Uh, after a few years, they incorporated the fern pattern within the Waverly pattern, and they put orchid etch on it. What was the price on that, Sarah? $20. How much? $20. $20. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> my daughter's always getting on me about my hair. Well, anyway, folks, that's the end of our video today. We hope to see you another week from today for another edition of Half Price Thursday. Thank you very much and have a good week.